I've just finished repairing the SLS suspension on this 300 TD wagon, and boy, does it ride nice. And what a difference after replacing those accumulators, flushing the system, and overhauling the leveling valve. Boy, I tell you, you wouldn't believe the difference. I'm sure the owner, when he comes to pick up the car in a couple days, is going to be really happy. But there's another issue I'm concerned about. This is a rebuilt engine, was installed about a year ago. But I happened to notice when I was driving it, I wasn't too pleased with what I was seeing coming out the tailpipe and looking in the rear view mirror. So I want to show you, I'm going to take you back there and show you the tailpipe. Then I'm going to race up the engine a little bit and let you see what you think might be the problem back there. There are a couple telltale signs right here that this car has been smoking very badly. You know, I did wash it when it came in and there was a lot of soot right back here on this panel. You see a lot of soot here on the bottom of the tail light lens, but look at this backup lens. Look at how black that is. And all this area underneath the bumper is extremely black. That gives me a pretty good indication this thing's probably smoking pretty badly when it's going down the freeway. Now I'm gonna race the engine up and I want you to take a look at what's coming out the tailpipe right now. So I think you can see why this kind of concerns me a little bit, more than just a little bit. I don't think I should give this back to the owner. At least if I do, I better let him come and look at this because it's going to make a lot of people mad. You know, you go down the freeway with this amount of smoke running out of the back of your diesel. This is what gives diesels a bad name. The other day I talked to the owner of this 300 TD wagon and expressed my concern about the amount of smoke that was coming out of the tailpipe. And he had to agree, yes. He, he also said his fuel economy was real poor, too. So I said, okay, Kent, go after it. Let's fix it. Find out what is wrong and let me know. So now we're on the quest to find out why this engine is smoking so badly, even though it has been recently rebuilt. Now, there's all kinds of things that could cause a diesel engine to smoke. And when you go after the problem, you don't want to start throwing money at it until you really know what's wrong. Now, there's a couple things you can do right off the bat. Number one, filters. Both the air filter and the fuel filter, if they're restricted, can cause a diesel engine to smoke. So one of the first things I do, this doesn't cost you any money, at least to inspect it, is to pull off the air filter and take a really close look at it. Now look at how clean this one looks. You diesel owners will say, wow, that's a clean air filter element for an old 617 turbo diesel. So the air filter is not the problem. But I might have a problem with the fuel filter. Now, the owner did confirm that when the engine was rebuilt, nothing was done to the injection pump. It was just reinstalled back on the engine. So we've got the question is, is there something wrong with the pump? Is the pump worn out? Is the pump timing not correct? So what I want to do is I want to kind of kill two birds with one stone on the next thing I want to check on this engine, and that is to find out how clean the pump is internally and also at the same time, I'm going to change the filter. So I've got it all set up here to do a diesel purge. There's the diesel purge tank. You can see this is purged down here. This is diesel fuel. So right after hooking up this tank, I went ahead and worked the primer. So I got the air out of the system. Now we're gonna start the engine up and I'm gonna go through the whole diesel purge process. And when I'm done, I'm going to put a new fuel filter on it and then I'm going to check for smoke again. I'll do the same test that I did earlier in this video series. And that's kind of what you want to do too. As you go through the process of troubleshooting a smoking situation on your own diesel, don't just do a bunch of work and then, oh, well, you're never really going to know what fixed the problem. But in this case, each thing that I do to the engine, I will then go ahead and do another check on the smoke situation as I narrow it down. Because like I've said many times, I bet as we get into this, that the cause of the smoke coming out of the tailpipe on this 300 TD is more than one issue. I think it's more than one. It'll probably be two or three. So I'll go ahead and do the diesel purge. I'll report back in the next part in this series how it went and then we'll take a look at what's coming out of the tailpipe when I'm all done with this process.